All right, so we bumped into this uh, Zoro Sanji, and I feel bad about this leader. It's like, it's a leader that allows you to do double attacks. Oh, or I shouldn't say double attack, right? Because that's like a mechanic. Um, allow you to attack uh, multiple times or restand characters so you can attack again. Look at that hand. The hand is weird. But yeah. I guess, uh, not to sound like a broken record, but like, it's just the effectiveness, of, uh, the effectiveness of board removal is what really holds this leader back. That's it. That's, that's what holds that leader back. Because that leader should be causing havoc. I mean, when you think about it, nine drop Zoro should have been like a bannable card if it wasn't for the fact that like the meta's the way it is. Now, that's an end game type of card, right? Three attacks and for 9k. That's like a I'm ending the game type of card. And for some sad reason, it's not really having that type of effect in the meta. It's crazy. The meta's crazy. Okay, we're trying to get our way to seven dawn i'm i'm just gonna assume that that deck doesn't have the adequate board removal for our croc so our opponent's gonna be in a real bad position that's an easy 2k and then we could just take the sanji attack then again he's gonna i know he's gonna swing twice so Ugh. oh wait he didn't Unless I'm missing something. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Well, so we have to seven. And we do have a 3k event. Okay, we're going to attack the Sanji. And he saves it. For a lot. Interesting. That must have been a misclick or something. Or he just assumed we swung for a, a, a much higher number than we actually did. Okay, so I respect it. If the Sanji was to, if he would have let the Sanji go, and then it would have been a seven drop croc. Wait, we can, oh, 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 oh we still could have at least attached the Dawn to our leader. Darn. Our leader could have had at least one Dawn, and we could have got the leader ability going. Well, he wasn't going to protect that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now we get the seven drop. And we can actually just put Don on both those characters. Or on both Crocs, I should say. One character, one leader. Alright. You're not going to lose the two cards out of your hand. Plus, you need the unique cards in your hand. You're going to say, what? Interesting. Okay, well, he did that. I would have just attached the Don. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't, now that I think about it. Like, saying that out loud sounded stupid. Hopefully they just attack for 6k. Hopefully, but I doubt it. We just saw the shenanigans that just happened. So I doubt they're gonna swing for 6k. Look at that. That's a little too much. Oh, we're gonna put the 2K counter on top. Eh, so we can keep the croc. Okay, cool, cool. I like it. Man, this hand is looking thin. That's an easy trash. That's an easy trash. Okay, they block. We're playing our other croc. We're gonna don up. And... Okay. Uh, they're, they're probably gonna take it anyway. Uh, 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 man, the way this match is going is weird. It's, it feels 
like it's slow, right? Nothing's. Oh, now, okay. Now we got some. See, I spoke too soon. So now we got some shenanigans going. Yeah, that is a healthy board on the opponent's side right now. That is a healthy board. And outside of us having the Crocs. Oh, that's just a dead swing. Oh, he bounced the card. Oh, so you can have more cards in his hand. I respect that. Nice play. Look at that. Three life, four cards in hand. Nice play. Nice play. Nice recovery. But see, so now we got Dawn. We got some events in hand. Granted, we, we, we are in a position where it feels like we need to take life. Because we look at our looking at the events in our hand. We're probably gonna lose one of the crocodiles. I know that hurt a lot. We were swinging for nine, so they can't stop nine, I guess. From the looks of it, they can't stop nine, so. They're gonna take that, and since we got zero counter events in our hand, we could just go for a game. That's amazing. That would be frustrating to have all the 1Ks and stuff and couldn't stop that. Anyway, so here we got a law. He got well, he got banned, but I think he's what banned for us at a certain set. So it's going to be like the same for Sakazuki's. We're still going to see law players running amok. Yeah, I, I wish that Zoro Sanji leader can uh, be relevant. But I ain't going to lie to y'all. Um, outside of helping characters be searchable. Because that's sometimes somebody pointed that out. Kid Killer is the way he is so because he, he's searchable. Somebody have pointed that out. So um outside of that i really wish that there was like a more interesting dynamic with dual leaders or dual like characters the dynamic is not like interesting enough for me i don't know what we were doing with this bill we got two sanji pilafs yeah i have no i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know what we was doing with this bill i can't remember it at all like we we went through several blurple builds, so several blurple builds. But man, that could just recover your entire hand. I'll tell you that right now. We, we just lost our bone clay. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna putting them. I respect it. Boo, he played the card. So what are we doing here? I mean, we do play Miss Sundays, so. Oh, we got rid of Shariah. I thought we was going to get rid of, um. What's his? Oh, I get why. Okay, I understand why I got rid of Soraya. Because Soraya would just match and then he could use a 1K. Okay, I get it. Okay, well, that Miss uh, Sunday kind of helps our putting play. And we're kind of behind. How much Dawn we got? Count that Dawn. I don't think we got enough to make that play worth it. Interesting. Ramp it right back. Okay. Interesting. So now we just develop. Bo oh, boo. oh, no. He's going to summon something. I thought he was going to bottom deck it. Well, he's in trouble, low key. No, he's not. He has a blocker. Forget it. Yeah, that board can swing right now. We actually countered out. Amazing. 
Hmm. So the problem is they do have a blocker. Oh, rest their blocker. He might let it go because anytime somebody does something weird like that, they get nervous. You see? Oh, no. Oh, I said he's going to let it go. He didn't let it go. He actually chose to rest the kid. Oh, we're going to... Okay, we're putting him in lethal range. And we just threw... The, uh, threw. We just drew three cards. And we got some counter events. So we can just ditch the other peel off. So we got two characters on board. He has to take. Okay, he's choosing not to. We could take that. Yeah. Oh, he's loading up. 7K, we can do uh, boom, boom, draw. Zero, zero events work so lovely with this crop. Another 7k swing. I'm so, we're, we're holding on to the pilaw? It looks like we're holding on to the pilaw. Oh, that gets rid of kid? I think that gets rid of kid. Tight. You angry right now. Now you're regretting attacking so much. Realizing that you know, if you don't have a rush character, you probably just uh, lost the game. And we have defense in our hand. Don't think we don't. That's an easy 1k. Yeah, cheat out of rush. Give them the three. Don. Well, it doesn't matter. And attack life. No, you need to summon a blocker. You could still cheat out a rush and then attack and then play a blocker for three. Oh, GG. Now give us a sub. It was fun, right?